lecture or okay. okay. First of all, please listen to the teacher carefully as usual. Okay. The specific methods of subduing greed are as follows. One, the Buddha taught us to diligently cultivate precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self-cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the mind of greed, hatred, and ignorance. Precepts refer to a moral and regulated standard of conduct in life that is harmless to others. It is to protect us from afflictions and attain liberation, and it can cut off the clinging greed, and even hatred and infatuation that arise from being tainted with the love of external objects. It is said in the Flower Adornment Sutra that the precepts are the basis of the Supreme Bodhi, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. Once again, The specific methods of subduing greed are as follows. 1. The Buddha taught us to diligently cultivate precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self-cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the mind of greed, hatred, and ignorance. Precepts refer to a moral and regulated standard of conduct in life that is harmless to others. It is to protect us from afflictions and attain liberation, and it can cut off the clinging greed, and even hatred and infatuation that arise from being tainted with the love of external objects. It is said in the Flower Adornment Sutra that the precepts are the basis of the Supreme Bodhi, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. Okay, now I'm going to explain. Explain them. In brief, okay, the specific methods of subduing greed are as follows. Are as follows. First, the Buddha taught us to diligently, 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 to diligently cultivate precepts, samadhi, and uh, wisdom, and uh, quench and uh, quench great hatred and uh, ignorance, ignorance, quench, quench. It means the Buddha taught us to cultivate precepts, samadhi, and wisdom vigorously, vigorously. Diligently means vigorously. And quench great and uh, hatred and ignorance. Quench and quench means and cut off. Quench means cut off or eradicate and cut off great hatred and ignorance. Which means that we should purify our minds through self-cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the mind of great hatred and ignorance. That means, which means that we should purify our mind through self-cultivation, through self-practice of precepts or samadhi, or samadhi or wisdom, and remove and remove the mind of great, and remove, remove means eradicate or cut off or throw away or and quench. so on. And yes, or quench, or quench, and cut off and eradicate and eradicate the mind of great hatred and ignorance. Ignorance. Ignorance means infatuation. Infatuation. Or false thinking. 
or for thinking. Precepts refer to a moral and a regulated standard of conduct in life that is harmless to others. Refer to, refer to. Refer to means, means, mean. Of conduct in life means of, of action, of action in life. That is harmless to others. It is to protect us from afflictions and attain liberation. Attain liberation means attain freedom. And it can and it can cut off the clinging, greed, and even hatred and infatuation that arise from being tainted with the love and external objects. And even hatred and uh, and uh, ignorance and ignorance that arise. This, this, the hatred and infatuation arise, arise from, arise from being tainted. Being tainted means being defiled, being defiled with the love of external objects, with the love of external objects, external objects. means food, sex, money, power, fame, name, sleep, and so on. It is said in the Flower Adornment Sutra that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body. The precepts are the are the roots are the roots of the supreme body. Basis means the base or the roots. And one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly means with one, with one whole heart, with one whole heart. Or single mindedly. Yes or no? Or single mindedly. Singer mindedly or singer mindedly. Okay, that's the explanation. That's all for the explanation. Now, please listen to the teacher carefully once again. The specific methods of subduing greed are as follows. One, the Buddha taught us to diligently cultivate precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self-cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the mind of greed, hatred, and ignorance. Precepts refer to a moral and regular standard of conduct in life that is harmless to others. It is to protect us from afflictions and attain liberation, and it can cut off the clinging greed, and even hatred and infatuation that arise from being tainted with the love of external objects. Why it is said in the Flower Adornment Suit Supreme Bodhi, and one should hold and keep wholeheartedly.
which means that we should purify our minds through self-cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the mind of greed, hatred, and ignorance. Precepts refer to a moral and regulated standard of conduct in life that is harmless to others. It is to protect us from afflictions and attain liberation, and it can cut off the clinging greed, and even hatred and infatuation that arise from being tainted with the love of external objects. It is said in the Flower Adornment Sutra that the precepts are the basis of the Supreme Bodhi, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. Diligently, please attention to it. Diligently, sorry, I made a mistake today. I read, I read it like this. Diligently, no, no, it's, uh, it is wrong. I mean. Not right. Please read it. Please read it correctly, like this. Diligently, okay. Diligently, diligently. Please pay attention to its pronunciation, okay. Okay. Now it's time for you to practice reading them, okay. First of all, I'm going to read it. The specific methods of subduing great are as follows. The Buddha taught us to diligently cultivate precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and quench great hatred and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self-cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the mind of great hatred and ignorance. Okay, are you ready? Would you like? Who would like to read it? Read it? Our board, please. Okay. Bienvenue, Mr. Tuan. Good evening, everybody. The, the specific measures of subduing greed are as follows. The specific. The Buddha told us. Specific. 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 Yes. Specific. Specific, Perfect. Okay, go specific. That, that is better. That is better. Yes, that is better. Go specific, on. Specific. The specific measures of a subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha told us to diligently cultivate precept, samadhi, and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self-cultivation of precept, samadhi, and wisdom and remove the mind of great hatred and ignorance. Thank you. Okay. Wonderful. Virtue, please. Virtue, please. Go on. Even you go and everyone, the specific methods of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha told us to Diligently cultivate precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self self cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the mind of greed, hatred, and ignorance. Thank you. Please be careful of its uh, pronunciation. Diligently. 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 Yes, diligently. 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 That's a better. That's a better. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for your better pronunciation. Vigorous, please. Good evening, Hugo, and everybody. The specific mercy of subduing greed as are as follows. The Buddha taught, taught us to diligently cultivate, cultivate precepts, samadhi and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self-cultivation of precepts, samadhi and wisdom, and remove the mind of greed hatred, 
Wonderful. Okay, let's go on. Precept refer to a mother and a re and a regulated and a regulated and a regulated regulated and a regulated standard of conduct in life that is harmless to others. It is to protect us from afflictions and attain liberation, and it can cut off the clinging greed and even hatred and infatuation that, are, that arise from being tainted with the love of external objects. It is said in the Flower Adornment Sutra that the precepts are the basis of the super of the of the supreme of the supreme body, supreme, su supreme uh, the of the supreme body, supreme body, supreme. And one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. Okay, Albert, please. Precepts refer to a moral and a regulated standard of conduct in life that is harmless to others. It's to protect, protect us from afflictions and attain liberation. And it can cut off the cleaning greed and even hatred and the infatuation that arise from being tainted with the love of external objects. Thank you. Go on. The next one. Oh, sorry. Go on to oh, the sorry. next paragraph. Yes. It is said in the Flower Adornment Suture that the precepts are the basis of the brain body, and one should hold and keep the you proceed wholeheartedly. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. What you please go on. Please, precept refer to a moral and regulated standard of conduct in life that is harm harmless to others. It is to conduct. Please, please conduct. be careful. Conduct. Conduct. Conduct, yeah. Conduct. Yes, conduct, not conduct. Conduct, not conduct, Con because it is a noun. Because it is a noun here, it is a noun here. So it is pronounced conduct, conduct. Okay, go on, please. Okay. It is to protect, protect us from afflictions and attain liberation. And it can cause cause of the clinging greed and even hatred and hatred <laughs> that arise from being tanned tanned with the love of external objects. It is said in the Flower Dormant Sutra that the precepts are the basis of the spring body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. Thank you. Wonderful. Fantastic. Vigorous, please. Precepts refer to a um, moral and re regulated standard, standard of conduct in life that is harmless to others. It is to pro pro protect us from obligations and attain liberation and it protect. 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 Yes. Protect. protect. Go on, please. Uh, yeah, and and it can it can cut off the cleaning greed and even hatred and the infatuation infatuation that arise from being ten tendy with the love of extreme external objects. It is said in the flower, flower adornment sutra that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. 
supreme, 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 su supreme, su supreme, supreme, supreme. That's better. That's better. That's Thank better. You. Okay. That's all for the rating. Now, here is everyone holding the lecture. I think each of you has about has about thirteen minutes. Okay, come on, everyone. Now, airport, please. I'm going to uh. Okay, thank you, Mr. Wang. Put it Mr. down Wang. my mic, yes. Yes, go on, yes. Uh, uh, put it down yes, my mic. My, yes, it's my turn to host the lecture. The rules are as usual. If you want to read, please type it. If you want to recite, please type on. I will read again and again. Okay, let's begin. The specific message of a student grade are as follows. The Buddha told us to diligently cultivate precept, samadhi, and wisdom, and quench great hatred and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self cultivation of precept, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the minds of great hatred and ignorance. Precepts reinforce your moral and regulated standard of conduct in life, that is, harmless to others. It is to protect us from afflictions and hand and hand liberation, and it can cut off the cleaning greed and even hatred and infatuation that arise from being tainted with the love of external external objects. It is said in the Flower Adornment Sutra that the precepts are the pieces of the supreme body, and that one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. The specific basis of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha told us to diligently elevate the precept, samadhi, and wisdom, and acquaint great hatred and ignorance, which means that we should purify our mind through self cultivation of precept, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the minds of great hatred and ignorance. Precepts refers to your moral and regulated standard of conduct in life that is harmless to others. It is to protect us. From afflictions and attain liberation, and it can cut off the cleaning greed and even hatred and infatuation that arise from being tainted with the love of external objects. It is said in the Flower Adornment Sutra that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. The, sp the specific method of subduing read are as follows. The Buddha taught us to diligently cultivate precept, samadhi, and wisdom, and acquaint great hatred and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self-cultivation of precept, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the minds of great hatred and, and ignorance. Precepts, are, precepts refers to your moral and regulated standard of conduct in life that is harmless to others. It is protect us it is protect us from afflictions and attain liberation, and it can cut off the cleaning greed and even hatred and infatuation that arise from being tainted with the love of external objects. It is said in the Flower Adornment Sutra that the precepts are the pieces of the Supreme Body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. The specific the specific methods of a supreme greed are as follows. The Buddha taught us to diligently cultivate the precept, samadhi, and wisdom, and create great hatred and ignorance, which means that we should prevail our minds with self cultivation of a precept, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the mind of great hatred and ignorance. Precepts, are ref precepts refers to your moral and the regulated standard of conduct in life that is harmless to others. It is to protect us, protect us from afflictions and hand liberation. It can cut off the cleaning greed and even hatred and infatuation that arise from being tended with the love of external objects. It is said in the Flower of Dominant Sutra that the precepts 
are this is of the supreme body, and the one should hold and give the pure precepts wholeheartedly. The specific method of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha tell us to diligently cultivate the precepts, the money and the wisdom, and the to greed, hatred, and the ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self cultivation of precepts, the money and the wisdom, and remove the mind of greed, hatred, and the ignorance. The specific method of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha tells us to diligently cultivate the precepts, the money and the wisdom, and the to greed, hatred, and the ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through Self cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove minds of great hatred and ignorance. The specific method of subduing great are as follows. The Buddha tells us to diligently the cultivate the precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and create great hatred and ignorance, which means that we should prefer our minds through self cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the minds of great hatred and ignorance. The specific Method of subduing greed as follows. The Buddha tells us to diligently cultivate the process of samadhi and wisdom and which greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should prefer our minds through self cultivation of the process of samadhi and wisdom and remove the minds of greed, hatred, and ignorance. The specific method of subduing greed as follows. The Buddha tells us to diligently cultivate the process of samadhi and wisdom and which greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should prefer our minds with through self cultivation of precepts. Samadhi and wisdom, and remove the mass of greed, hatred, and ignorance. The specific method of subduing, subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha tells us to diligently cultivate the precepts of Samadhi and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds through self cultivation of the precepts of Samadhi and wisdom, and remove the minds of greed, hatred, and ignorance. The specific method of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha tells us to diligently cultivate the precepts of samadhi and wisdom and the quench greed, hatred, and the ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds through self cultivation of the precepts of samadhi and wisdom and remove the minds of greed, hatred, and ignorance. The specific, the, specific, the, specific, the specific method of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha tells us to diligently cultivate the precepts of samadhi and wisdom and the quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds through self cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the minds of great hatred and ignorance. The specific, the specific method of subduing greed as follows. The Buddha tells us to diligently cultivate the precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and quench great hatred and ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds through self cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the minds of great hatred and ignorance. The specific, the, the specific methods of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha tells us to diligently cultivate precepts of samadhi and wisdom, and according to greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds through rules of cultivation of precepts of samadhi and wisdom, and remove the minds of greed, hatred, and ignorance. The superphysic methods of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha tells us to diligently cultivate the precepts of samadhi and wisdom, and according to greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds the rules of cultivation of a precept, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the minds of greed, hatred, and ignorance. The specific method of subduing greed are as follows. Buddha tells us to teach and cultivate the precept, samadhi, and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should, we should prevent our minds through self cultivation precept, samadhi, and, and, uh, and uh, ignorance. The a specific, a specific, a specific method of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha tells us to diligently cultivate the precepts of samadhi and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds with through self cultivation of precepts of samadhi and wisdom, and remove the minds of greed, hatred, and ignorance. The specific method of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha tells us to diligently cultivate the precepts of samadhi and wisdom, and going to create hatred and ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds through rules of cultivation of precept, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove minds of great hatred and ignorance. The specific, the specific, the specific, the specific method of subduing greed are as follows. <clears throat> the Buddha tells us to diligently cultivate the precepts of samadhi and wisdom, and going to create hatred and ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds the rules of cultivation of precept, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove minds of great hatred and ignorance. The 
specific method of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha taught us to teach and cultivate precept, samadhi, and wisdom, and which greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that, that we should preach our minds to do self cultivation of precept, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the minds of greed, hatred, and ignorance. The specific method, the specific method of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha taught us to teach and cultivate precepts of Samaria and Western, and create a great hatred and ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds through self cultivation of precepts, Samaria and Western, and remove the minds of great hatred and ignorance. The specific method of subduing greed are as follows. The specific method of subduing greed are as follows. The, the specific method of supreme great are as follows. The Buddha taught us to teach and cultivate precept of samadhi and wisdom, and which great hatred and ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds through self cultivation of precept of samadhi and wisdom, and remove the minds of great hatred and ignorance. The specific method of the super, the super Specific methods of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha taught us to teach and cultivate precepts of samadhi and wisdom, and according to great hatred and ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds through self cultivation of precepts of samadhi and wisdom, and remove the minds of greed, hatred, and ignorance. The specific method of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha taught us to teach and cultivate precepts of samadhi and wisdom, and create greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds. The rules of cultivation of precept, summary, and, and wisdom, and remove the minds of great hatred and ignorance. The specific, the specific method, the specific method of subduing great as follows. The Buddha taught us to teach and cultivate precept, summary, and wisdom, and great great hatred and ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds the rules of cultivation of precept, summary, and wisdom, and remove the mind of great hatred and ignorance. The specific, the specific, the specific method of subduing greed as follows. The Buddha taught us to diligently cultivate the precepts of samadhi and wisdom and create great hatred and ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds through self-cultivation of precepts of samadhi and wisdom and remove the mind of great hatred and ignorance. The specific method of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha taught us to diligently cultivate the precepts of samadhi and wisdom and create great hatred and ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds through rules of cultivation of precepts of samadhi and wisdom, and remove the minds of great hatred and ignorance. The specific method of subduing great are as follows. The Buddha taught us to teach and cultivate precepts of samadhi and wisdom, and going to create hatred and ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds through self cultivation of precepts of samadhi and wisdom, and remove the mind of great hatred and ignorance. The specific method of subduing great are as follows. The Buddha taught us to diligently cultivate precepts of samadhi and wisdom, and create great hatred and ignorance, which means that we should prove our minds through self-cultivation of precepts of samadhi and wisdom, and remove the mind of great hatred and ignorance. Time flies. The time is up. Would you please... Hello, would you... This time your turn. Yes. Would you? Yes. Sorry, yeah. I'm coming. Yeah, OK. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, uh, Elbers, for hosting. Okay, um, it's my turn to host now. If you want to read, type eight. And if you want to recite, type nine. I'll keep reading this content again and again. The specific methods of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha told us to diligently cultivate precepts, samadhi, and wisdom. 
and quench and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should purify our mind, our minds through self cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the minds of greed, hatred, and ignorance. Precepts revert to a moral and regulated standard of con conduct in life that is harmless to others. It is to protect us from afflictions and attain liberation, and it can it can cut off the clean greed and even hatred and infatuation that arise from being tanned with the love of external objects. It is said in the Flower Adornment Sutra that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body, and one should hold and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. The specific methods of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha told us to diligently cultivate precepts, samadhi and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance which means that we should purify our minds through self-cultivation of precepts, samadhi and wisdom, and remove the minds of greed, hatred, and ignorance. Precepts are revert to moral and regulated standards of con conduct in life that is harmless to others. It is to protect, protect us from afflictions and attain liberation, and it can cause of the clean greed and even hatred and evacuation that arise from being tanned with the love of external objects. It is said in the Flower Adornment Sutra that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. The specific methods of spewing greed are are as follows. Follows. The Buddha told us to diligently, diligently cultivate precepts, samadhi and wisdom, and quench, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self-cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the minds of greed, hatred, and ignorance. Precepts revert to moral and regulated standards of conduct in life that is harmless to others. It is to protect us from afflictions and attain liberation. And it can cause the clean greed, greed, and even hatred and evacuation that arise from being tanned, tanned with the love of external objects. It is said in the Flower Dormant Sutra that the precepts are the basis of the spring body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. The specific methods of spewing greed are as follows. The Buddha told us to diligently cultivate precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should that we should purify our minds through self-cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the minds of greed, hatred, and ignorance. Precepts revert to a moral and regulated standard of conduct in life that is harmless to others. It is to protect us from afflictions and attain liberation. And it can cut off the clean greed and even hatred and infatuation that arise from being tanned with the love of external object. It is said in the Flower Dormant Sutra that the precepts are the basis of the spring body and one should hold and keep the pure precept wholeheartedly. The specific methods of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha told us to diligently cultivate precepts, samadhi and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds. Yes, um, Airbirds, please. Okay, thank you. I will read this paragraph 
first, then I will try to reset it. The specific method of subduing chlorine are as follows. The bullet allows to diligent cultivate a person to somebody and wisdom, and the cringe, create hatred and ignorance, which means that we should break our minds through self-cultivation of a of somebody and wisdom, and remove the minds of great hatred and ignorance. Okay, let me try to recite it. The specific method of subduing great are as follows. The Buddha tells us to, the Buddha tells us to diligently, diligently, party, wait. The Buddha tells us to diligently, party, wait. Party, wait, preserve somebody and, and the wisdom and the quench great hatred and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self cultivation of perception, somebody and wisdom, and remove the minds of great hatred and ignorance. Am yes. I right? Yes, you are right. Okay, Perfect. Thank you. thank you. Let's go on. Precepts revert to moral and regular regulated standard standard of conduct, conduct in life that is harmless to others. It is to protect us from afflictions and attain liberation. And it can it it can cut off the clean greed and even hatred and evaluation that arise from being tanned with the love of external objects. It is said in the flower dormant sutra that the precepts are on the basis of the supreme body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. The specific methods of spewing greed are as follows. The Buddha told us to diligently cultivate precepts, samadhi and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self-cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom and remove the minds of greed, hatred, and ignorance. Precepts revert to moral and regulated standards of conduct, conduct in life that is harmless to others. It, it is to protect us from afflictions and attain liberation, and it can cut off the clean greed and even hatred and infatuation, infatuation that arise from being tanned Tend with the love of external object. It is said in the Flower Dormant Sutra that the precepts are the basis of the Supreme Body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. The specific methods of doing great and are as follows. The Buddha told us to diligently cultivate precepts, molly and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should purify, purify our minds through self-cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the minds of greed, hatred, and ignorance. Precepts revert to moral and regulated standards of con conduct in life that is harmless to others. It is to protect, or protect, 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 protect us from afflictions and attain liberation. And it can cut the clinging greed and even hatred and evacuation that arise from being tanned with the love of external objects. It is said in the Flower Dormant Sutra that the precepts are the, basis, are the basis of the supreme body and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. The specific methods of doing great are as follows. The Buddha told us to diligently cultivate precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self-cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the minds of greed, hatred, and ignorance. Precepts revert to moral and regulated standards of con conduct in life that is harmless to others. It is protects us from afflictions and attain liberation. And it can it can cut off the clean greed and even hatred and evacuation that arise from being tanned with the love of external objects. It is said in Flower Dormant Sutra 
that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts, precepts wholeheartedly. The specific, the specific methods of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha told us to diligently cultivate precepts, samadhi and wisdom, and create and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self-cultivation of precepts, samadhi, and wisdom, and remove the, the minds of greed, hatred, and ignorance. Precepts refer to moral and regulated standards of conduct in life, and that is harmless to others. It is to protect us from afflictions and attain liberation, and it can cause of the clean greed and even hatred and evacuation that arise from being tainted with the love of external objects. It is said in the Flower Adornment Sutra that the precepts are the basis of the Supreme Body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. The specific methods of doing greed are as follows. The Buddha taught us to diligently cultivate precepts, samadhi and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self-cultivation, cultivation of precepts, samadhi and wisdom, and remove the minds of greed, hatred, and ignorance. Precepts refer to moral and regulate standards of con conduct in life that is harmless to others, it is to protect us from afflictions and attain liberation. And it can cause the clean greed and even hatred and evacuation that arise from being attained with the love of external objects. It is said in Flower Dolman Sutra. Okay, okay, my time is up. I'll uh Give the mic to Vigorous. Thank you. Yeah. Good evening, Virtu and everybody. Yeah. It's time my turn. My there is a specific, specific muscles, 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 muscles of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha taught, taught us to diligently, diligently cultivate persons, samadhi and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should Pre purify, purify, purify our minds through self cultivate cultivation of precepts, samadhi and wisdom, and remove the mind of greed, hatred, and ignorance. Precepts refer to a moral and a regulated regulated standard of con conduct in life that is harmless. To others, it is what pro protects us from obligations and attain liberation, and it can cut off the cleaning, greed, and even hatred and infatuation that arise from be being being tainted with the love of external objects. It is said. In the lower adornment sutra, that their precepts are the basis of the su supreme supreme body, and one should hold and keep their pure precepts for hatred hatred hatredly. There's specific mercies of subduing greed are as follows. The Buddha taught us, us to diligently 
cultivate, cultivate precepts, samadhi and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self cultivation of precepts, samadhi and wisdom, and remove the mind of greed, hatred, and ignorance, precepts, reform to a moral and a regulating standard of con conduct in life that is harm harmless to others. It is what pro protects us from obligations and att attain liberation, and it, it can cut off the cleaning, cleaning greed, and even hatred and infatuation that arise from being tainted with the love of extreme objects. It is said in the Flow Adornment Sutra that the persons are the basis of the supreme body, and one should hold and keep the pure persons or hatred, hatredly. Hatred, hatred. The specific mercies of subduing greed are as flow, fl follows. The Buddha taught, taught us to diligently cultivate pre precepts, samadhi and wisdom, and quench greed, hatred, and ignorance, which means that we should purify our minds through self-cultivation of precepts, samadhi and wisdom, and remove the mind of greed, hatred, and ignorance, precepts reform to a moral and regulating standard of co conduct in life that is harmless to others. It is what pro protects us from obligations and attain liberation and eat can can cut off the cleaning greed and even hatred and inf infatuation that arise from being tending with the love of ex external objects. It is said in the flowers of dormant sutra that the persons are the basis of the supreme body and one should hold and keep the pure persons Oh, hatred, hatred. Yeah, okay. Albert, please. Okay, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, let me try to read and recite this paragraph. It is said in the Flower of Dominant Sutra that the precepts are the basis of the Supreme Body, and one should hold and keep the pure precept wholeheartedly. Okay, let me try to recite it. It is said in the Flower. It is, it is said in the Flower or Dominant Sutra that the precepts are the basis of the Supreme Body, and one should hold and keep the pure precept wholeheartedly. Am I right? Yeah, okay. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, okay. Precepts reform to or uh moral and regulated standard of conduct in life that is that is harmless to us. It is what pro protects us from obligations and attain liberation and it can, can cut off the cleaning greed and even hatred and infatuation that arise if arise from being Tended with the love of external objects. It is said in the flowers of dormant sutra that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts whole hatredly. It is said in the flower flower of dormant sutra that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body and one should hold and keep keep the pure precepts pure precepts whole hatredly hatredly it is it is said in the in the 
flower or diamond structure. That is precedes are the basis of the of the supreme bird body, and one should hold and keep the pure pure precedes whole 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 hatred hatredly hatredly hatredly. It is said in the flowers flower adornment structure that the precedes and the are are the basis of the supreme body and one should should hold and keep the pure precedes whole whole hatredly. It is said in the flower adornment structure that the precedes are the basis of the supreme body and one should hold and keep the pure precedes whole hatredly. It is said. It is said in the flower adornment structure that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body and one should hold and keep the pure precepts whole hatredly. It is said in the flower adornment structure that the, that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body and one should be should hold and and keep the pure Precepts all hatredly. It is said in the flower or diamond structure that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body, and one should hold and keep their pure precepts all hatredly. It is said in the flower or diamond structure that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body, and one should hold and <coughs> keep the Pure pursuit, oh, oh, hatredly. It is said in the flower of the man structure that the pursuits are the basis of the supreme body, and one should hold and keep the pure pursuits, oh, oh, hatredly. It is said in the flower samadhi, samadhi flower of the man, of the man structure that the pursuits are the basis of the supreme, samadhi, supreme body. And one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. It is said in the in the flower adornment structure that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. It is said in the flower adornment structure that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts hold wholeheartedly. It is said in the flower adornment structure that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. It is said in the flower adornment structure. That the precepts are the basis of the supreme body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly, heartedly. It is said in the flower flower adornment structure that the supreme are the basis of the supreme body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. It is said in the flower adornment structure that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body, and one should should hold and keep the pure precepts or hatredly. It is said in the flower adornment structure that the supreme that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body, supreme body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts or hatredly. It is said in the flower adornment structure that the Precepts are the basis of the supreme body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly, it is heartedly. It is said in the flower of the Sutra that the precepts are the basis of the supreme body, and one should hold and keep the pure precepts wholeheartedly. Yeah. Okay. It's time o'clock. Thank you. Everyone, thank you for your time. Put on my mic.